Mike, obviously the fall's a, a large workload. You guys have a lot of scrimmages, exhibitions. Just overall, out of all the guys that you brought in and the guys you brought back, just how do you feel like the fall went on the mound for you guys? Yeah, I thought it was it was a good fall. Um, there's it started out a little slow to be honest with you. Um, but I thought towards the fall and as we got into the Alabama game and today, um, guys started to attack more. Um, a lot of new guys, you know, kind of onboarding here, trying to figure out um, how this should look. But you know, today was a, definitely a step in the right direction in Alabama. And, um, definitely, you know, doesn't seem to be a lack of talent or stuff. That's for sure. The two left-handers that started today, you guys brought in in the summer, Joey and Wes. Just those two guys have both had pretty strong falls. With Wes, just how impressive is the stuff? And with Joey, how impressive have you been with his consistency? Yeah, I mean, Wes, the stuff is as loud as any left-hander in the country. Um, you know, it's really loud. It's a good four-pitch mix. It's a lively fastball, a good curveball. It's a good slider, um, plus change. Like, you know, when he's attacking hitters, it's, he's going to be tough on guys. Um, Bellini has just been a kind of a model of consistency. Every time he's came out, he's had four pitches. Um, there's been kind of like more of a professional approach to what Joey's doing. Um, I like the veteranness that Joey brings to the, to the, the, the pitching staff and kind of the tactician, the way he goes about it. You know, it's been kind of fun to watch. Jamie looks like he's really developed that changeup. Is what have you seen that third pitch look like for him? Yeah, Jamie. You know that was the knock last year. He just needed the third pitch. You know, something to go, you know, through the lineup a couple more times, and you know, he came back and started throwing a really good changeup. And not only has he thrown a good changeup, it's been the elite. You know, I think it, if he rolls it out there today, it's probably gonna be one of the best changeups in the country. And I know that's kind of weird for a guy that's got such elite pitches with the fastball and the slider, but um, the changeup we're super excited about. Um, I think it's it might be his best pitch right now if you ask him. So um, it's definitely something we're excited about to come this spring. We didn't see Jamie. How do you approach coming off a season where he was as effective as he was and through as many innings as he did? Yeah. How do you approach an off season with a guy like Jamie? Yeah. So like with Jimbo, like we just wanted to keep him short. He threw six innings this fall, so we kept him real short. He threw it in a three week span. Uh, we didn't want to put him down and him lose range of motion in his shoulder and, and his T spine and those things. So we wanted to kind of keep him going keep his end ranges, um, and also let him work on the changeup. Um, and I thought, you know, the game plan was to keep it short and simple, and we did that, and, and kudos to him. Like, he was prone his approach, and he was efficient with the short amount of time that he had on the mound. So, uh, for him, more kudos to him than anything, to be able to get the quality work he did in six innings. Evan obviously had a really good freshman year and then kind of a, a sophomore slump, and you guys have kind of been tinkering a bit with his stuff. Just where do you feel like you're at with him right now? Yeah, I like his pitch mix. You know, I think, you know, probably the second time in a row to back up the cutter a little bit and it got him, but like the pitch mix, pitch mix is great. I think for him, it's exciting to see like it's four to five pitches and he's throwing strikes with those. And um, I was trying to like, tell him today at some point, he's got to hunt three pitch out. I thought he worked deep in a lot of counts where he's just trying to be too fine. The singer's got good action, just throw it down and kind of let it work. But uh, I'm excited with where he's at. I think he's starting to have an identity and he kind of knows who he is. And so now coming back from the break, it's just going to be perfecting that. When we last talked to Link, he mentioned that Kinnear, you guys kind of compacted his delivery a little bit. Just what have you seen since he did that? And, and how electric is that stuff possibility it, out of the pen? It's really good. He was leg, leg, lifting his leg real high, like leaning back and getting disconnected. So we try to cut the leg kick in half and try to keep his you know, chest stacked over his hips, and it seemed to have been pretty good. And just try to make him a pitcher. You know, at this level, he's not going to stuff people. Like, 99 at this level gets hit, you know, if it's not in the right location. So now we're just trying to teach him how to pitch. This is where you should throw your pitches, and now get him to buy into that. And now we're evaluating every time he goes out there, did you throw your pitches to the spots you need to throw them to? So um, we're definitely pleased with, you know, the development of him here the last couple of weeks for sure. Quite a few guys who were freshmen last year who were asked to take on somewhat significant roles yeah. at times just because of how the, yeah. how things broke down. I guess how do from year one to year two now these guys know what to expect going? How do expectations change? What is how do you have those conversations with those? Yeah, guys? like now that they're not freshmen and they've had those innings, ex expectations have probably got a little a little higher for them. You know, you're not treating them like freshmen. You're not dubbing down the pitch mix like you know Hudson Rowan. Like last year, we were just on fastballs middle and trying to beat people. Like today, he was throwing fastballs in, fastballs up, fastballs away, he's throwing a curveball for strike, curveball down, back foot in a curveball. Um, so for those guys in year two, you know, you kind of want to see them take that step as far as, you know, being more multiverse and, and multidimensional. And a lot of those guys have done that. 
I know it's really November, but when you start thinking about a rotation of guys in the bullpen, 19 guys out, like what kind of goes in that whole process? Yeah, I mean, you're for the rotation, you want a three pitch mix and you want premium you know, strike throwers and guys that can roll over a lot multiple times. Um, right now, we feel like we have a, a mix of those guys, um, whether it be seven or eight of those guys, and we'll come back in the spring and kind of let them duke it out. And then in the bullpen, do they have one or two quality pitches that they can throw for strikes and expand with? And you know, the mentality piece is really big into that. And do they attack hitters? Do they get out in front or do they pitch behind? So there's a lot that goes into that. Um, I don't think anybody just walked away with a role this fall. I think coming back in the spring, those roles will be earned. Um, Jamie might have solidified himself as Friday guy, but that's about it. So. You had two lefties that didn't get to throw last year because of injury and, and obviously what Jacob went through. Just one, how good has it been to just see them on the mound and how much do you think those guys can help you this year? Yeah, I mean, Marlo, just seeing him out there is, is a blessing, you know, and I have to get past that, you know, it's still every time he throws a rubber, I kind of pitch myself like, man, like this guy, what he's doing this time last year, it's, it's a blessing to see him out there, um, you know, and he's starting to get stronger with the stamina and those things. Um, you know, Manka having him back in the mix has, has been pretty fun to watch him evolve. I know tonight was not the best night, but he's been pretty good all fall, and I think he'll bounce back. He's got good stuff. And, um, yeah, it's just been good to get some guys back in the mix for sure. You, you lost quite a few uh, high, high leverage type relievers yeah. off last year's team. Yeah. How important is it getting a guy like Joe Charles back, and what do you think he can, he can provide? Yeah, like getting Charles and Abraham and Holtz, and I'm missing guys I shouldn't start naming them, but getting those guys back is – Huge, like these guys are pitching in Omaha. They pitch at the highest level. Um, we're hoping that they can slow the game down and you know don't get sped up. So getting those guys back is is definitely big for us. When you guys landed Prescott, did you expect it to be as lively as, as it's been since he's been here? And yes. what do you think is the the last key to kind of unlock all of his stuff? Yeah, we knew the fastball was going to be good. That's you know at, at JU last year he had pretty good um, fastball velo. I think the biggest unlock is just going to get the slider refined. Um, we're trying to get a little bit more glove side break to it. Um, tonight, it was kind of 50-50. I thought he threw some that had to that. I thought he threw some that didn't. Uh, I think just ironing that out and getting it more consistently to his glove side with some glove side shape will be big, and um, we're confident we can do that. And, you know, he's shown the ability to do that. So, um, yeah, we're excited with, with where he's going for sure. I know you probably can't say much about this, but just later, obviously, had the procedure. Just what's your relationship been like with him throughout this time, and how old are you to get him back up on the mound this spring? Yeah, I mean, Cam's handled this whole thing like a pro. He's really matured. This is, you know, not ideal for him, but there is some good things that are coming out of this. You know, him personally, to see his development um, has been pretty cool. Um, obviously, we're hopeful to get him back. He's one of the best pitchers in the country. Um, you know, but for us right now, like, for him, it's just a day by day, and I don't think anybody has a crystal ball and knows when he's going to be back, or if we did, we would definitely put it out there. But for him, um, just trying to support him through this time and, um, you know, that's part of college baseball. Like these guys come here to get developed on and off the field. And so, you know, we have to kind of continue to guide them through the good and the bad. So, um, but he's been a plus teammate. He's been a pro about it. He's handled things the right way and definitely seen him mature personally, which has been fun to see. So.